The trouble is a lot of the social media uh, is great for shallow learning, not for deep learning. Deep learning hurts, and so people prefer to settle for the shallow learning and the informal learning environments like social media and games and entertainment, edutainment, um, whereas the uh, deep learning requires a lot of concentration. If somehow we could make that deep learning fun, uh, whether it's through games or challenges, uh, that's what we need because people get jobs. The jobs of the future are technical, difficult. And if you don't have the deep learning, people aren't going to be competitive. Artificial intelligence has been around, as you know, for about 40 years. And in the early systems were not so good. However, with the advances in computational linguistics and intelligent systems, they've now evolved to the point that they really help students learn. Uh, learning environments with AI and conversational agents have really come to the right time in history and they help people learn and they can be very motivating. I do see MOOCs and other online enver environments being very uh, much used more in the future. Uh, the future is going to be a MOOC world and in MOOCs with intelligence. Uh, some of the MOOCs in the past haven't had much intelligence and they haven't had agents, but they are in the future. One thing we're interested in is trying to slip in more of the agents and tutors, uh, human tutors. And eventually, if we learn and from the conversations that peers and tutors have with the learner, uh, that some of that could be automated in the future. So imagine if you had, uh, you, you think you're interacting with another human, but it's a cyber agent and it's a cyber peer. It might be a cyber peer that is skeptical of what you say, or it might be a cyber peer that's like a cheerleader encouraging you. Uh, and then you can have tutors that are very provocative, and some of that could be automated in the future. So, uh, my gosh, not only MOOCs with these course courseware, but then you have the social media, and then you have the cyber uh, social media. And uh, I think that can be an exciting future. One famous example in the States is from Pittsburgh, their Pittsburgh Science of Learning that has a cognitive tutor. And that's a tutor that is now used in thousands of schools in the United States. It helps them learn math. And as you know, math can be difficult. Uh, these systems are adaptive to the human learner. Some human learners uh, they have math anxiety, uh, partially because the material is too complicated. Well, you try to divine these, de design these systems in a way that they become adaptive to what the learner knows. So if the learner is stumbling on some topics, it can go a little bit slower and uh, give them feedback. And these systems are very adaptive. Some systems like AutoTutor, the one that I've built along with my colleagues, uh, it helps students learn by holding a conversation in natural language. And AutoTutor is adaptive to not only what you know, but your emotions and your motivation. So uh, these are advances that have only come in the last decade.